Our next shape is a kite, okay? Permanent area of a kite. Now we all know what a kite looks like. That's what you think it looks like. Okay, or, well, let me, let's try that again. That's kind of janky. Okay, but that's still kind of messed up. <laughs> boo, boo, dude, dude, there we go. That's a good one, okay. So, kite, okay? Now, define perimeter. We still have the outsides, okay? Now, the thing with the kite that you should know is that your short sides, okay, are always the same number, okay? And your long sides are always the same number, okay? Like, together, okay? So if this side up here is a letter or is a number, this side down here is the same number, if this is a number, that's the same one there, okay? So, perimeter, add up the outsides, okay? So if we did that, all right, um, God, I'm not good at drawing. Okay, okay. So if this one was two, okay, this bottom one also is two. And this one, let's say, is five. This one is also five, okay. Now, we, this is really small. I don't know why it's small, but sorry about that. Um, <laughs> let me, here we go. Two. Two, five, five. Okay. Now, perimeter, add the sides. Two plus two plus five plus five. You do that. Two plus two is four plus five is nine plus five is 14. Okay. So, kite, same thing. You're adding the sides up. That's all you're doing. Okay. And just remember the kite, short sides are the same, long sides are the same. Okay. Now, Area. Area is a formula. Okay. When you get area, it'll give you this. Okay. This is for area. It'll give you this. Okay. So this long line will be capital D. And a small line would be lowercase d. Okay. Now, what? So that's what's going to give you. Okay. Now, your formula is one half times the lowercase d times the uppercase d. Okay. So very simple. Okay. Let's say you got a kite. And you have uh, uh, you have a six here and a three here. Okay, well, plug it in the formula. Okay, area equals one half times the small d, which is three, times the capital D, which is six. Okay, and solve. You want to use calculator? That's fine. One half, remember, is 0.5 times 3 times 6. Oops. And your answer, 9. And that's all there is to it, okay? I'll give you numbers, plug in the numbers into your formula, and solve. Okay, don't make it complicated, guys. Just plug and chug. Plug and chug, all right? Let's try one more. Give you a little different look here. Okay, it's the same thing, just flipped, okay, or rotated. Okay, so we'll say uh, our number here is uh, 7, and number here is uh, 13, okay? So once again, plug it in. A equals 1 half times a little d. Now the little d here, okay, is going to be the 7 here. Okay, and our uppercase D will be our longer line of 13, okay? So, if we do, do the math, okay? So, one half is 0.5 times 7 times 13. Our answer is 
45.5. Okay, simple as that. Don't get it complicated. Don't get it twisted. All right, just plug it in the numbers, solve the equation.